Why does matter matter? What do trees, air and water have in common? They all have matter. That means they take up space. You might be wondering why these things look so different if they all have matter. Science lesson, year five, self-inflating balloon, water and containers, and plasticine, sink or float. The self-inflating balloon, you'll need vinegar, a balloon, a bottle, and bicarbonate soda. The liquid is the vinegar. The atoms in a liquid are close together and they slide around. The solid is the bicarbonate soda. Four teaspoons of bicarbonate soda through a funnel into the balloon. The atoms in the solid are packed closely together and they're bond together and do not change shape unless there's a chemical reaction. It is time for the main part of the experiment. Carefully attach the balloon to the open bottle. Then slowly lift the balloon and release the bicarbonate soda into the vinegar. There we go. A gas, carbon dioxide, chemical reaction, and the gas fills all of the space available to it. The perfect experiment to show liquid, vinegar, solid, bicarbonate soda, and a chemical reaction for the gases, carbon dioxide. Now on to liquids. Liquids take the shape of their container. So you can see here how they take the shape of the container. Easy experiment to understand. Next, here is a ball of plasticine. Sink or float? Have a think. Sink or float? Sink. But what if we made the plasticine into the shape of a boat. Sink or float. We are distributing the mass and creating some air in the cup-like shape, the boat, and it will float. But, if we add more mass, like a dinosaur, it'll sink. So let's recap. A solid's a solid, and a liquid is smooth and it flows, and gases we actually cannot see. Now solids are rigid, and they hold their shape, as liquids are not rigid, and they take the shape of their container. Gases, well, they're not rigid and we actually can't see them, so some of them we can smell and some of them we can feel. Thanks for watching.